Hey, this is Super7, and today we're going to talk about the Mechanum Drive. In this video, we'll talk about theoretically how they work, some hardware advice in terms of layout, and basic programming techniques. First, let's talk about the theory behind the wheels. There are two general chassis designs that accomplish the same goal, a holonomic drive and a Mechanum Drive. In both examples, when the wheel spins forwards, it moves diagonally. A Mechanum Drive is special because it has two different types of wheels a left set and a right set, so it's important to both buy and keep track of both sets of wheels. Here's a force diagram for the Mechanum drivetrain. As you can see, each wheel has a red arrow pointing in the direction of travel for each individual wheel, but also blue arrows for the X and Y components. This is to your advantage because you can manipulate these forces to make sure they cancel out. When you're building the chassis, you want to make sure the wheels have a force orientation of either an X pattern or a square pattern. This is to make sure you have two different types of wheels on both sides. When you're programming the robot, you first need to keep track of where the motors are. So we like to label them based off of location, in terms of like top left and back right. Now let's say we want to regularly drive our robot forwards. We would want to make sure that all of the vertical components line up and all the horizontal components has equal magnitude but cancel out. This would be accomplished by setting all wheels forwards at the same magnitudes. Now that you have a general idea of how the forces work, you can apply it to move the robot in different directions such as left and right. Thanks for watching! Hey, thank you for watching this tutorial. Like and share if you thought that it was helpful and leave a comment down below what videos we should make next. And don't forget, stay super!